Hello, today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial how to create um, a rocky surface with Blender. This application is mind-blowing, so if you haven't tried it, please do support the community. It's, it's absolutely free. You can, uh, uh, you can buy um, extra add-ons uh, for small fees, but they're not necessary. So what I'm going to show you is completely free and you can do it with a standard um, with the standard application. So what, what I have now is just, you know, a, a, a rectangular uh, solid which I want to turn into a surface. So what we want to do is first, I already have uh, prepared it, but I'm going to show it and hide it here. This is going to be our, our surface here. So This is our surface. I just made from a cube. Used. Uh, you can do. Um, you can go edit to the face, and you can see those are just bevels. I'm just beveling. Um, yeah, I use bevel to create those two rocks. This is not perfect, but they'll do. Uh, the job for the example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide it. I don't want to see it in the scene. And I'm going to return back to our um, rectangular to the cube that I actually changed the sizing on, so it looks more like a flat surface. So what we want to do is first select the object, then hit the new button. That gives us uh, the group input and output. Input is Input is think of it as a you're gonna brew a formula here. You're gonna tell the application what exactly we wanna do, and you're gonna make it make it for us. You're gonna calculate all the special functions, and the output is the result that you're gonna see on the screen. So input, imagine it like this: input is from this flat surface goes group input, then it goes output, and then it draws it again on the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put those here, that's how I like to start, have a little bit more space. And what we're going to do is we're going to add um, a distribute cloud, so um, we did move that. Okay, well, I will search for it, distribute, distribute point on faces. So we're going to put it right there, and we're going to tell geometry, go to the mesh, and then points goes to here. So you see, you, you can now play with how density it is and, and stuff like that, but if you zoom in, these are just just simple objects, they don't, they don't look good. Plus, our surface is gone, and we might want to keep it there. So... But first things first, what we want to do is show the original surface too, like that, but now the points are gone. So you can't have two unless we add a join surf, a join geometry. And once we do that, and now we can combine more. And now we have both the surface, the original surface, solid. And the new dots, and the new and the new rocks. I'm going to call them. These are the distributed points on surface. So, but how can we utilize the particles that we have? Well, I'm going to get to that. So first thing first, Blender changed a little bit the geometry nodes, um, how they work. So if it's a single object, if let's say you have a a, a square here which uh, actually I might just show you, add mesh, uh, cube, okay, what did you add, okay, so, and then I'm going to scale that, okay, that's fine, and then we're going to scale it so it's small, small, now if we return back here, what you can do is, what was that object, object info, that's what you look for, so if you do object info and you do I need this object, that's what I was looking for. 
So what we need is we need from from the from the distributed points from the cloud points we need to go to points then that goes to join geometry but now the points are gone well that's because we need to do that as an instance and you can see now that the cube that the cube is our part so what you can do is you can you can uh, change the oh you know why because I didn't apply I did not apply the size apply scale you can do it apply scale now you can see what happened once we applied scale the surface became those blocks here that that cube so let's return to that uh, from from this point here you can change uh, AI 1 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 I want to make it smaller you see and now I can bump my uh, density to create a more refined surface but we're gonna forget that because I already I don't like using that that object here so we're gonna delete it we're gonna delete this thing here and we will add a collection once you have a collection see if I enable that that collection is from those two objects that I showed you in the beginning we're going to use that that particle collection so I'm just going to hide it I don't need it right now but now we need the collection so what we're going to do is we're going to put this here we're going to tell it hey I need that particles that's that's this particles here that I'm hiding right now I need that to be the object that will become an instance to that point cloud and you can see it's already it already put them but they're all the same size um, I'm gonna show you in a little bit uh, how how we'll change that so I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, do that to 40 density and then you see right now they're not attached to the surface what I want to do is I like keeping relative for the time and then separate and children they need to be enabled and now you can see now you can see that our 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 group of particles are attached to the object the next thing we want to do is do a random the random value is also changed that's a new node uh, it used to be called um, randomizer or something like that now you're doing it in a different way what you need to do is you see you have scale here and you have rotation you can manually do that you can if I zoom in of course you you can see you can man but but you're not randomizing them so so we're gonna zero that out scale zero out we don't need we're not gonna do it from here okay okay and what we'll do is we're gonna add a random value random value there you go random random value we want that here the first thing we want to do is um, so we, we have a value that's going to be for rotation so we'll add that to rotation so you see the the options to manipulate this rotation from that instance instance on points is no longer available because we will supply that from the random value I'm going to use uh, uh, one one very important thing we need to be on vector and now I will do three three and three okay so that that's gonna be rotation and I will need one more one more for um, for the scale and search random random value for the scale so we're gonna do value scale Oop, there it goes so I'm gonna do it 1.5 a little bit bigger you can see if I zoom in that our surface is now it's using random scale random value if I lower the density you can see that it's completely randomized 
so we're going to keep that here. Uh, yeah, that's that's more or less, or less it. Um, I like this new style with those curvy uh, curvy connections. So let me show you what will happen if I don't have the joint value. The joint value. If I delete the joint value and I do this, you see. So no connection between input and output. What we have is the old surface is gone see so the the original surface is not going to be shown so if you want to see that you need that join uh, what is it? Uh, join join geometry so you need that here and the original we want to show it here it's good to experiment with those nodes it's just you know you you're brewing a, your own formula you you're like Harry Potter with the magic wand right now it's it's amazing amazing yeah I like mine to go to like 35 so it's a little bit more I like leaving a little bit uh, a little bit of empty spaces here uh, random value yeah that's that's about it guys and uh, yeah if we, if we render this you can experiment you can do triangulars cones and just do your own shapes once you mix them you get a much better result here that's all guys i hope you you enjoyed uh, the tutorial thank you very much for watching